Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a little mini haul. I do have quite a few items. I say quite a few items, sorry. I have a few items that are clothes and then a few little kind of random bits and pieces. So I mentioned, I think in my, maybe like a January video, um, I mentioned that I was going to be not spending for the month of January kind of as a little challenge. And I actually kept that on through February and into March, which is when I'm recording this video. I'm still spending a wee bit of money. I've got a few things. Actually, some of the stuff that I bought, well, some of the stuff I got was gifts and the other stuff I had some vouchers for. So I haven't been spending a massive amount of money, just a few bits and pieces, but I also know that I personally love watching hauls and I do think whenever I ask for like suggestions for videos and stuff people do say hauls like things I've bought that sort of thing now, I should have kept a note of it because I'm sure I'm gonna miss something so maybe at the end of this video there'll be like little inserts of me in a week's time but I thought that I would kind of gather anything that I have bought in the last couple of months and do kind of like a wrap up haul I have no idea how to title the video but I will get there in the end so the first thing that I got were these nice trainers Nike oh my goodness there's two cats fighting in my garden I don't have any cats they look like they're about to okay they seem to have called it off that was concerning anyway these are just black Nike kids trainers they were about 25 pound on sale Um, I'll put in like again either in the description box or just text on the screen so I'm so distracted by these cats how how much they were I think they were about 25 pound and also the name so originally I was going to get like a pair of walking boots or hiking boots and then I kind of thought I don't know that I'm going to actually wear these that often to be honest like I maybe would wear them occasionally but also I'm I guess fickle enough that like how I look does play into, into things and I was like how often am I really going to wear these. So I picked up these black pair of trainers because I just thought they would kind of go with everything and um, I thought they'd just be a really handy thing to own and I'm lucky enough to wear kid sizes and Nike had a really good sale on. The only thing about these is I find Nike a little bit weird with their product range in that like almost depending on what type of customer they're trying to serve products can be really different so I my running trainers are Nike. I got like 30% off them and I still spent 90 odd pound. I think they retail at about 150 pound and um, at the time I was running a lot so so it was completely worth it to spend that amount of money and um, I had sustained some sort of leg injury that I basically think was from wearing super old repair trainers and at the time I was running like probably 20 or 25 miles a week on like two year old trainers so I made the investment and like, it was completely worth it. But the difference in quality between these trainers and those trainers is unbelievable like these are clearly fashion trainers and like you can tell like honestly you couldn't even compare the trainers that I have for running and these you would think they're made by a different company and I actually I think that I might invest in a pair of insoles for these but yeah they're just so easy to stick on with everything so I have found myself gravitating towards them a lot but I think I need a pair of insoles for even going out and walking it's not that they're hurting my feet but I feel like I can almost feel the ground beneath them so my next two products are also Nike or Nike and I got it's kind of stupid I got two pairs of black leggings but again they had a really good seal on and I had the voucher and I was like I may as well so the first pair that I got are these I don't know if they have like style names that's what I'm kind of looking for just these Nike banded leggings again I will just have try on clips so don't worry about me showing you these really badly and they have like this gold it's very gold and very metallic striped on the side and the tick is also gold these fit so well they're really comfortable they are like quite tight around the tummy but in that really nice like i feel supported way oh those are dry fit and i got these in an extra small and they just fit so well and i kind of was like is the gold a little bit schmicky like is it a bit much but my friend said they liked it and they're super comfortable and um, but they are quite like snug they're kind of those ones that when you're putting them on you need to like get them on but once they're on they feel like you know kind of second skin situation i really wanted just like black leggings especially for when i do start going running more like i always buy colorful leggings and then they are like i can't match them with anything so i bought a second pair of black leggings so these are the nike pro leggings so these are actually a kid size so nike big kids goes up to an extra large but if you look at the no I actually thought I think I should have sized down and got a large kids because they're big kids range it's like well like it's for teenagers so their maximum height range goes to like I think it's like five foot four or maybe slightly taller and I'm five foot two and they actually have a really good size guide so um it takes you through like the 
bust hip waist whatever like if you're maybe you're maybe like five foot five and below i think you could actually probably get away with wearing some of the big kids stuff on mike which kids clothes I'm not sure about big kids clothes but kids clothes don't have vat added so they're cheaper so i really like these they're really really nice around the waist like this nike pro band like it's that like really good tight elastic bottom of the leggings like it stops being so it, as you, i don't know how well it'll show up on camera but like that's legging material and then this is like mesh but the extra large is too long on me that's what i'm saying i should have got the large this is what i'm also saying about the sizing i don't know how much the height corresponds to like the waist and stuff so i don't know whether large would have fit me on the legs but then not fit me on the waist so i don't really know who exactly it would fit but the extra large is too long on me and i think i remember looking on the website and i do think i remember thinking the large could have fit me on the waist and obviously because it's elasticated like there's breathing room the bottom of these again you'll see in the try on clip i really don't like how they sit around my ankle i find them quite flattering and on like the waist um i find like these last like that kind of elasticated and the same with the trousers that i'm wearing that i will show you like i find them quite flattering around the waist when they're high-waisted i feel like it makes my short legs look weird weirder because they like this all crumples up along the bottom and um, i'm actually half tempted to see if my sister could like turn them off but then you turn up like the, the cuff bit so i don't know whether it would work the trousers that i am wearing now obviously i will talk about in the try on clip i got these collusion flares from asos i do not know if i actually agree that these are flared trousers like they don't flare out to me they kind of seem like more like a straight leg trouser but i do think they're nice like i said they're kind of that elasticated waist and i find them to be quite complimentary around my waist they're super comfortable because i feel like i'm essentially just wearing my stylish sweats they are pretty thin so like they're not the warmest and um, but i do think they'll be really good for like when it comes more into spring and summer and um, like not wearing jeans um so i got the i got a six short i also ordered an eight short this again is where i don't understand sizing because maybe it's just because there's more material but like the eight short is definitely longer than the six short and i could have worn it but again because of the elastic i was fine to size down because they weren't too tight um, and yeah they're super comfortable and i think like should be fairly easy to style and i also think when it comes to being able to go out to like drinks in bars or go out for dinner in a restaurant like i can put this on with a nice top and a pair of heels and i feel like you'd be quite dressed up but also ready to consume an entire meal then my last piece of clothing which doesn't feel right but i think it's because i ordered a new pair of jeans and i ordered a loungewear set and they just did not fit me whatsoever so the whole return went back to zara that's why i think that's why i think i feel like i have more stuff to show you than i actually do because um i had to return an order so i bought this brave soul loungewear set so like long story short the thing that i had asked for valentine's day which i will talk about in a minute was less expensive his thing was 30 pounds so and i also think i got a sympathy gift because valentine's day was the day i came home from hospital so um he actually got me these pair of sweats from zara which i think i had shown him like honestly months before so props to him as a girl that i like on instagram was wearing it and i was like oh my goodness that's actually really nice but Zara's sizing, I am not okay with it, to be honest. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I think, honestly, I would steer clear from it. I mean, me personally, I think I'm going to steer clear from it because their website is stupid. I don't like how it's laid out. Their models don't model their clothes well. And I have no idea what their sizing is, which is also ridiculous because I filled in, like, my height, my weight, what my body shape looked like, um, how I like clothes to fit me. And they recommended the sizes for me and not one of them fit me so i just think i can't be bothered with it maybe when things are open again i can just try stuff on in the changing room but until then got me these gorgeous pair of joggers in such a nice color i'll maybe put a picture on the screen this small which is like too small they did that really awkward thing because they're supposed to be high-waisted and elasticated around the waist then they ended up like halfway down my calf so i sized up to a medium but then they didn't have the color that i wanted so i had to get this kind of pale lilac color and then the medium was just like far too big for me so i was like okay so the small is too small the medium's too big they only did small medium large which that sizing is not acceptable they recommended that you sized up so that basically means like 
unless you're extra extra small no one would wear the small so it would just be medium large so why they did that i don't know but my sister looked, said it looked like i was in prison wear because i got the matching jumper which also didn't fit me and then i got this pair of jeans which were far far too big so that was not a long story short that was a long story long but i got this lounge wear set from brave soul on asos now it's like a crop top with a drawstring which i think is really cute this to me is more of a pajama set than a lounge wear set so i got these both in an extra small um sorry look it was a cord so i got it in an extra small as you'll see in the try on clip i think the trousers can go a bit weird around the crotch but nothing like life ending but like i don't think you would ever wear that outside the house that's a at home lounge wear set but it's super comfortable and i love an elasticated waist so then that is all my clothing products now i have got other stuff in the last couple of months but i've done standalone videos on them so i've got the charlotte tilbury stuff i did a standalone video on that and then i also got super drug haul and i did a standalone video on that so this is just kind of a wrap up of all the other little bits and pieces that didn't get included this is kind of needs cleaned but this is what kyle got me for valentine's day i don't know that you can see it because my ring light oh sorry it's down here so he got me the Tangle Teaser. So this is the Tangle Teaser Large Wet Brush. So I have the original Tangle Teaser. I bought it, I will tell you this, I bought it the, on the 7th of September 2016 on a flight home from Liverpool. On like the Flyby flight they had in flight purchases and one of them was the Tangle Teaser and I bought it. And I've always really, really liked it, but my hair is quite thick and I always find that like it did get through my hair but it kind of was a bit of work or I maybe had to do it in layers and the original one doesn't have a handle. I don't know whether I saw someone using this brush online which is what like prompted me to look for it but I basically went on their website and they had a brush that could be used on wet hair because you aren't supposed to brush your hair wet because if I remember this correctly when your hair is wet the bonds in it like tighten and shrink so then when you brush through it they snap and that can be what can lead to a lot of breakages and split ends um, and that was a problem that I was having with my hair so this can be used on your hair wet and then you could basically size up to a large and that was for thick long hair so I asked could I have that for my Valentine's Day present because Kyle had kind of said like look I want these ro he wanted these roses to plant in his garden but Brexit they couldn't get delivered so either way so I sort of said well actually I've been considering buying myself this brush but at the same time um, I'm really enjoying doing this kind of no spend challenge so maybe you could just buy me it and then I wouldn't have to break my no spend challenge so he did and this brush is so good Kyle being I'll say it the sweetheart that he is I had mentioned to him that I had a conversation with my mum about getting this hairbrush for Valentine's Day and I was like I thought she was gonna say to me like you're so daft like you're actually getting a hairbrush for Valentine's Day but my niece gets really really tatted hair she has like really fine hair and she just like when she sleeps it gets really tatted my mom looks after my niece on a monday and i would come down and i would use the tangle teaser on my niece's hair my mom was like that is fantastic like that works so well and then my sister actually bought a tangle teaser specifically for my niece's hair and then a couple of times my mom came in to me and she borrowed my tangle teaser which does does wonders for her hair but she starts at the top of her hair you know after the shower like pulls the tangle teaser down and I'm like mommy you're supposed to start at the bottom of your hair she gets the same like her hair gets quite like tatted I think because it's so fine though I'm kind of thinking why does fine hair get tatted but it does get quite tatted she really liked it so for my mum's birthday Kyle bought my mum the same tangle teaser brush so we're matching now it's actually only like 14 point I know that's a bit like silly for a hairbrush but I'd really recommend it especially if you have longer hair thicker hair or hair that you kind of get like breakaways or get it's quite tatted it's really good so still on hair stuff but this girls only dry shampoo it is the extra volume one dazzling volume this is definitely very very decent i do still think i absolutely prefer the batiste dry shampoo the blue one the original so i got this i have to say I do prefer batiste it is better but this is definitely a very decent alternative if you do use dry shampoo a lot so i've said this so many times on my channel but i wash my hair once a week maybe once every like five-ish days if i've been active but usually once a week so i am a dry shampoo user part of me kind of thinks that i might now this is the volume one i might try the other ones that they have i would use a decent amount of dry shampoo but i will say one thing about this which is i have had to use far more of this than i have had to use of the batiste and the pricing isn't exactly fair because the 200 mils is a point but the batiste one that's a fiver is 400 mils so this is 
two point and it's a fiver and I do think I go through this faster because I need to use more of it and obviously the more you use of it isn't great for your hair you do want to use less dry shampoo 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 and you want to use it sparingly and I think the Batiste one is a lot better at letting me use it sparingly then two other hair products which I bought on a whim I will explain why you can see them spoiler but I haven't really used them so I can't see it in the hairstyle that I'm in at the minute but I, I'm not being like dramatic I'm being like oh my god I have a receding hairline it's just naturally how my hair sits that my hair kind of like naturally like loops back but when my mum would like plait my hair or when I try and wear my hair in kind of an updo I find that it's not like a smooth line across my forehead the way I have these wee bits of hair now it's like there's two bits that are quite pushed back and I kind of get a bit self-conscious about them because then because I kind of had bangs for a while the shorter bits of hair come out and when I try and tuck them in this is such a specific like example but they come out and then I tuck them behind my ear and then there's like a strand of hair and then a gap and then my hair and it makes me really self-conscious because I actually look a bit creepy with like these bits of hair and then like baldy bits so I bought these magic retouch re retouch stuff from L'Oreal now it was ordering stuff off look fantastic for Molly's birthday and if you spent like an extra like four pounds you got a free gift so I was like yeah whatever I'll spend I'll get the cheapest thing so this was like reduced from like 18 pound to like seven which is why I bought it so I got medium iced brown and then brown it was like a, a set it's a bit weird I'm not sure about it I might try it in my mum's hair my biggest problem with this is the applicator I don't know if that could be removed and it could be more of like an aerosol spray I'm obviously not gonna spray it now but it sprays like a flipping jet spray it's really like harsh and when I like when when I did try it out, I just tried it out one day that I had no makeup on and I ended up getting like eye spray on my face. So now that's I suppose because maybe because I'm trying to do the front of my face when maybe you're supposed to be working your way down the roots. And then I also feel like again I could have sprayed it too close so it could be my fault. It kind of made my hair like a bit greasy looking, like a bit shiny. So then I ended up putting dry shampoo in which like obviously did the opposite effect because it ended up lightening my hair in the first place. I just don't know about this product. And then the other product that I got similar end result it's like this like wand and it's again it's the magic retouch brand but again i think i put it in one time and it definitely definitely did tame the flyaway but again it kind of left my hair almost like shiny if maybe if i could get like a brown dry shampoo but i felt like it made my roots look shiny and then ended up making me look greasy which obviously i don't want and then i think I only have two more products to talk about and then that will be the video. So the little freebie that I got from buying this product was this Vichy Lift Active Collagen Specialist Nui, so night cream. So it's this like little tiny tub. It's 15 mils, which actually is pretty decent because actually now that I'm thinking about, I think I bought a sample of something on Charlotte's Helper and it was either 10 mils or 15 mils. So to get something for free is pretty good. It's a really quite thick consistency. It smells really nice. I used it last night for the very first time and to be honest I did mix it in with my tan because the tan and drops that I use, the Isle of Paradise ones, you are supposed to mix in with like a moisturizer. You're not supposed to use them basically undiluted. This reduces wrinkles, firms, skin, boosts, radiance. This is a use oh sorry it says use an spf in the morning because obviously it's a night it's a night cream i only used the tiniest bit of this last night and it was with my tan it just has that feeling of real luxury what did i say Vich vichy vichy that's a high-end brand and it really gave my skin a feeling of like this is a, like this is a treat like this is a really good product on my skin right now so i think i'm gonna really enjoy this and then the final product is I got this Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthener. So they are a bit of a mess, but I took off my acrylic overlays because they'd been on. I probably could have kept them on, but they were kind of getting to the point where they were starting to like, not hurt, but they were lifting off the top of my nail because they had been on for like maybe 11 weeks. So I bought this to strengthen up my natural nails. Now I also clipped them right down to a good length. I've bitten my two baby fingers, but I'm just gonna try and like, get out of that habit but I cut them right down and I've been filing them and stuff but obviously acrylic isn't necessarily bad for your nails but ripping them off your nails is bad for your nails so I bought this and the only thing about it is it doesn't say how often to apply it it says shake gently apply two to three coats on bare nails let dry so I was doing it once a day and I think it built up too much so I ended up picking and peeling that off so I'll maybe need to do a little bit more research into how often products are supposed to be used because it ended up I ended up peeling it off my nails which I don't think is a great 
idea either. And I think it's a worthwhile product. I think that is all of the new things that I have bought or been given over the last few months. Like I said, I am really trying to not spend and um, saving up for bigger, brighter things in the future. Um, I'm trying to be a bit less frivolous with my money, I guess. So that is a little bit of a disappointment for YouTube because like, it's very easy to make videos when you're spending a lot, but I am trying to be a bit more sensible. But I think I'm gonna do a order on the Ordinary Skincare because my skin has just not been the best recently it's not been like spots wise I don't have too many like it's pretty good that way but um I keep getting like kind of these random like bumps and like texture and just not the best so I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe do a bit of a revised skincare because although I do have a skincare regime it's not like a targeted skincare skincare regime it's just like oh tone and moisturize and cleanse so I'm thinking of doing that and in that case I will obviously show you and show you me trying out all the products but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed my video please like share and subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed or if there's anything you would like to see in the future and I'll see you in the next one.